Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Langan and today we're going to talk about date problems. Now, date problems, as it infers, means that you're going to be working with days or dates. And dates are really like, today could be September the 3rd and the year could be 2024. So the way that you write dates, I'm going to talk about that first and then we're going to look at this problem. But the way you write dates differs around the world. It's not the same. Isn't that neat? So let's look at some of the ways that dates are written. So the proper way to write a date, if you are in the United States, would be, um, let's say it's September the 3rd, and you would write September 3, comma, and let's say it's the year 2024, then you'd write 2024, okay? If you were in Canada, or let's say in Britain, or Pakistan, or India, or many, many parts of the world, you would write it as 3 September 2024. There's no comma. And notice, this is day, then the month, then the year. And this one is the month, the day, and then the year. All right? It's important that you note the difference because sometimes you will see it written one way for some things and then another way for other things. And where you live, it, that's, that di dictates really how you're going to write it and what the proper way of writing it is. Now, why is this important? Because if you have um, documents, like if you go traveling and you have a passport, sometimes they ask you to do it this way and sometimes they ask you to do it that way. In the bank, it's the same thing. All right? In other places, it doesn't really matter. People will understand it. But it's important that you know that it can be written in different ways. Okay, so those are dates. Now let's look at this date problem. With the date problems, we're going to go before and after, and we're going to figure out what day is, um, is the answer for the question. So I'm going to read this question out so you understand what I'm talking about. So here's the question. In 2003, the first day of school was the 2nd of September, and Thanksgiving was the 13th of October. Sunshine Sally's birthday was three days before the day after, two days after the first day of school in 2003. When was Sally's birthday? <gasps> That's a lot. All right, so you first of all have to figure out, well, where do we start? because that's a lot here. It's three days before the day after, two days after the, oh, after the first day of school. So that's what you call, because everything is based on this first day of school. Notice that two dates were given up here. So you don't just pick one of these dates as a starting date, because you don't know which one it is. You have to figure out which one it is. And it says here, the first day of school, everything is based on that first day of school. So I'm going to underline that first day of school because that is what you would call your anchor. So I'm going to draw a little anchor. And an anchor is used in a boat. And usually when you have a boat, so let's just draw this boat. And a boat will be in the water and it doesn't want to float away in the water. So what it does, it's the water, it will put down, the boat will put down this anchor, and the anchor goes into the sand in, in below, and what it does is it holds the boat in place. The boat will go back and forth a little bit, but at least it won't float away out into the ocean. Okay, so the anchor is where everything goes back and forth according to that place. We also have, this is going to be a date line, and you will also have an anchor place right here that you will be moving according to that anchor. And that anchor is where you basically, where you know where to start. And this is where you know where to start, the first day of school. Now, the first day of school, you have to now figure out, well, what was the first day of school? Let's look back here. In 2003, the first day of school was 2nd of September and Thanksgiving was 13th of October. Oh, we don't want Thanksgiving, we want the first day of school. So the first day of school is what we will circle. That is our anchor date, okay, because that's what we want, first day of school, that's the anchor. So right here, first day of school is the 2nd 
of September. Okay, now we want to do, figure out where, what we do with that. So let's take, I'm going to take another color here and I'm going to start circling all the information that will help me get the answer. First a piece of information, I'm going to start from here, I'm going to go backwards. Okay, so the first piece of information right before that is it says two days after. So I'm going to circle that. And then it also has the day after. So, oops, this is sort of cut. So I'm going to do a circle like that, okay? And then if I go back, it says three days before. So, and if I go back again, Sunshine Sally's birthday was. So I know I'm finished, okay? So you have three days before, the day after, two days after the first day of school. Okay, so first day of school was September the 2nd. After, after September the 2nd, let's finish this date line first. You have the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. And let's go backwards now again. So if you, before September 2nd is the 1st, and before that is August. So August has 31 days. So I'm going to just write that quickly here to say August, and then 30. 29, 28. And I'm going to leave it there and see if we need that or not. Okay, so now let's work with this. Let's put down all my colors and let's come back. So it says, first day of school is our anchor, two days after that. Now I'm going to show that on this date line by going two days afterwards. And you can go one, two, to there. So that's two days after. And then I'm going to come back to here. It says the day after that. So I have to go back one more. And then it says three days before. So I need to start here and I have to count three days before. So maybe you can count with me. One, two, three days before. Hmm. Now, you can do this either by going one, two, three, or you can draw a straight line. That's up to you. All right. So. Oh, we're back to North, right to the first day of school, which is September the 2nd. And that's your answer. So you would write a sentence answer. And usually the sentence answer is below. I'm going to write it above because I'm going to use below for in a second for something else. So here, um, the oh, it's Sally's birthday. Oops, let's write Sally's birthday here. Sally's birthday was... So, oops, that's two. I'm going to write this as two September or the second. You can write it also as the second of September in, whoops, let's do this again, in 2003. Okay, in fact, would her birthday be September the second in any year? Yes, but will it be uh, the first day of school in any year. No. It's always going to be September the 2nd, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be the first day of school, which it was in September, the, in, in, in uh, 2003 it was. Okay, now let's do this using, that's the first way. Now the second way is using an equation. So let's do an equation here. All right, so you started with the anchor date. You, all, you start with that. And then, uh, is the camera ready for me? Okay, good. All right, so you got September the 2nd. So I'm going to write S-E-P-T as a short form for September the 2nd is when we started. Then we did two days after, because that's what it says here, and that's what we showed here. And we're going to do an equation according to what we did here. Okay, so we first of all did two days after. So if you're going two days after, you're going to add on because you're getting a larger number up here. Okay, so plus, you're getting a larger number for September. So plus two, and then it says the day after. Well, that means plus another day, so plus one. And then it has three days before. We went one, two, three. So before that means you minus. So you have September the 2nd, plus two more is four. September the 4th plus one is September the 5th. Minus three equals September the 2nd. 
So we end up with just the two. This September is really sort of off to the side, just so you know what month you're working with. And that's the answer, the second, and you know that of September. So again, Sally's birthday was September the second. Okay, or the second of September. All right, so two ways to do these date lines. And, um, and always remember that before you subtract, after you add. All right, have fun with this and, um, and see what you can, see if you can even make up one yourself and, uh, and see if you can trick your teacher. Okay.